Good afternoon and welcome to my kitchen. This is Maine Roses here. And I just wanted to have you come and join me for making my supper tonight, which I'm doing the healthy side. I'm trying to lose the weight. I've got about three quarters of a pound of turkey. It's all natural, ground turkey. And I made a burger for it yesterday for my salad. And now I'm gonna use the rest up and a meatloaf. So I got three quarters of a pound. I'm just going to put it in the bowl, use my fingers to break it up. I'm going to throw this away and wash my hands. Then I'll be back with you in just a second. All right. Okay. Now I started dicing up an onion. I've got about half of a medium sized onion here. I'm going to add that to my bowl. I've got some frozen green pepper that I just took out of the freezer. I microwaved it just a little bit to break it up. So I'm going to add half of that. Actually, it's got onion in it too. All right. I'm going to use the green pepper off of it though. I must have saved an onion at one time. I didn't want it to go to waste. So... It was all ready for sauce. But anyways, I want the green pepper. So there. Then I'm going to add a half a package of Ritz crackers. I like Ritz because it gives it more flavor. So I'm going to take about a half a package, about this many, and I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to crush them right up. And there we go. Get the rest of some crumbs. Give my hands another wipe. A few cracker crumbs here, but I can wake that up after. So I'm going to set that onion off to the side. I'm going to put this over here because I'm going to put that back in the freezer. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Excuse my arm. I'm going to add some fresh ground pepper. I'm going to stay away from the salt. I'm going to add some other herbs and I'm going to crack me an egg and I'm going to get this mixed up. I'm going to add some fresh parsley. Well, not fresh, but store bought in about a tablespoon right into the mix. I'm going to add some oregano. Trying to use up my seasonings. So that's about a teaspoon. Right there. Into the pot. I'm going to look for garlic powder. And that's right here. So. Right on the cap. About a teaspoon of garlic powder. Right into the mix. Okay, I'm going to get me a bowl. I'm going to crack me an egg. I got my oven right now going on to 350. Crack it away. Whoop. That one's for me. It didn't land on the floor, but I just got it. Is it landed on the stove? Get me an egg crack here. Make sure it ain't bloody. And there we go. Put that right in the bowl. Eat my cracker. Get me a fork and stop mixing this.
I'm using the Ritz crackers as my filler part. You can add breadcrumbs. You can soften up some croutons and a little bit of liquid, like milk or water. You can use whatever you want. You can put the onion and green pepper in. You can leave it out. You can add whatever herbs you want. You can make this with beef. You can make it chicken or turkey. This is your own meatloaf, but I'm making it with turkey because I'm trying to stay towards the healthy side. Now I'm going to check to see if I've got some cheese. Everything tastes better with cheese. And I have a little bit of Italian style six cheese blend. I'm going to give me like a handful. And my hand's pretty small. It's like that. And I'm going to put it right into the pot. Okay. And instead of opening up the refrigerator again to put all this away, I'll put it away when I get that mixed and in my baking dish. Okay, I've got a baking pan here. I'm going to take the olive oil and I'm going to put some down. I'm going to use my brush. I'm going to brush it up the sides and around. I'm using olive oil because it's healthier than vegetable oil and some of the other oils, so that's what I'm using. You can use whatever oil you want. All right, now I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to get this in the oven. And that's it. The cheese is just mixed right into the meat. And it's okay to have a little bit on top. So I'm just going to put this right down in my pan. spread it out and then I try to make a well in case there's any liquid so you can drain it off afterwards so I just go up along the sides <coughs> excuse me Just like that. Now I'm going to bake this till it's done. I would say about 30 minutes. Um, I would check it. And if it looks done, by poking in a cake tester and it coming out clean, or it just looked done to you, then pull it. If not, put it in for another 10 minutes. So I'll bring you back when this is done. Okay, we're back. Um, I just took it out. It took approximately 30 minutes. If you look at it, it's nice and golden. You're going to see some grease, but not very much. So in order for you to know that it's done, this is a cake tester. I just pop, pop it through like that. If it comes back nice and clean, which that's grease, it's done. And you can tell if you go around the sides, you just have to go around with, with the knife to loosen it up. But I'll, I'll cut you a small piece and I'll show you how it looks when it comes out. I'm going to aim it down. I'm getting my potatoes cooked here and I'm going to put a vegetable on and then we're going to call it supper. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a healthy version and it tastes excellent. The cheese and the Worcestershire and the um, Ritz crackers and, and the onion and pepper and herbs give it so much flavor. So there you go. This is my turkey meatloaf and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give me a thumbs up and welcome my new subscribers and thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful night.